Hi and welcome to the Oracle Mobile Application Framework YouTube channel. This episode is where we first introduce you to Oracle Mobile Application Framework, known as MAF or MAF. And in the next 10 minutes or so, you're going to learn a little bit about the architecture, the building blocks and the features that make up Mobile Application Framework. Now, in an earlier episode, I introduced the different options for mobile applications. I touched on web applications and native applications, but my focus today is on hybrid. These are applications which are installed and run as native applications, but extensively use standardized web technologies like HTML5, CSS3 and JavaScript to provide much of the application's functionality. Now, because they run on the device, they can be optimized for the platform and they can much more easily call out to device features such as camera, GPS and, and even local storage. And because we use a common language of HTML5 within a hybrid, it means the code can be easily reused or ported between different operating systems. And as you might have guessed by now, Oracle's mobile application framework is a hybrid framework. And it's a hybrid framework which is based on industry standard technologies, primarily HTML5 and Java and JavaScript. So inside the MAF framework, we have a set of UI components which render HTML5 for building the user interface. And inside MAF, we also have a Java engine which allows you to write and execute Java code. And this is pretty important for a number of reasons. From a development point of view, it's built on standard proven technologies. And also because they are standard mainstream skills, it means you already have a ready pool of development talent, possibly the same developers who are already building your enterprise web applications. And it's only then at the point when you deploy your application that the framework is then packaged inside a native container and deploy dealer to run on iOS or Android. So an application is right once, but it can be deployed and run on multiple platforms. So in choosing Oracle MAF or MAF, you gain a number of benefits. Firstly, you only have to build one application which can be deployed to a number of different platforms. And this pretty much cuts your development effort in half versus supporting native application development where you have to develop the application for each and every platform that you want to support. Now out of the box Oracle Math provides a pre-built palette of very rich UI components ranging from buttons, lists and checkboxes up to carousels, graphs and maps. And development is basically a case of dropping these components onto a page. So there's no need to write code or markup. And the development skill set is the same regardless if you're developing for Android or iOS. Basically JavaScript, Java and HTML5 which are all pretty much mainstream enterprise skills. And you have a choice of your favourite IDE. We provide development through JDeveloper as well as Eclipse. The framework also provides simplified access into device features such as local storage for working offline and easy access to native features such as camera, email and contacts. And the Oracle Math building blocks themselves are very modular and very reusable. Okay, so let's take a few minutes to look at how you might develop your on-device business logic with a, a Math application. The secret here is Java. Inside each deployed MAF application, we package up a lightweight Java virtual machine. And this gives us the ability to run Java directly on the native device. And it means that you can write your on-device business logic using Java. So regardless if you're running on Android or iOS devices, you can be developing business logic using Java as a common language. Of course, a typical mobile app will also use data and services that are hosted on remote services as well. So we provide a very simple way of accessing remote web services from within your application, including a set of Java APIs. 
It's also worth recognising one of the other benefits of having a Java engine inside MAF applications is you have about 9 million Java developers, so it probably means you've got some of the skills already inside your organisation. So no need to hire all those additional Apple Objective-C or Android programmers. Now in considering building the user interface, Oracle pro provides three different options for developing the UI for an Oracle Math application. You can use the 80 plus UI components that come out of the box with Oracle MAF or Math. These are called AMX components. You'll learn more about these later, but in brief, these are pre-built rich UI components that are optimized to deliver a native user experience at runtime and are rendered locally on the device using HTML5. Now, chances are that, at least in these early days, this will be the primary way that you'll develop your Oracle Math user interface. The other options are that you could develop pages yourself programmatically using HTML5 and JavaScript, or a page could be a remote web page defined by a, a URL. Oracle Math gives you that flexibility. But with the out-of-the-box math components, you'll be able to deliver a native look and feel which supports all the various device gestures and interactions. Oracle Math also includes components for visualizing very complex data in a graphical format. These are called DVT components, and these include various flavors of charts and graphs, uh, gauges, maps, and timelines as well. Of course, there is much more to enterprise mobile development than simply creating a user interface. And as you might expect, there are a whole host of other features provided by the MAF framework that aid you in developing enterprise applications. Now, you'll learn about more of these in the coming episodes, but as a quick rundown, these features include things such as declarative application flow. So the flow of pages around your application, you're on page one, you press a button, you go to page two. The whole flow of your application can be defined without a line of code using a visual diagramming tool. Furthermore, application flow can be broken out into separate subflows and very easily reused within your application. There's device integration. Most mobile devices will include onboard features such as GPS, email, SMS and camera. Now, exploiting these device services is an ever common use case, and Oracle Math provides a very simple way of integrating device functions into your applications. Security is a major concern with enterprise mobile apps, so with Oracle Math, you can authenticate who has access to your application resources and authorize which resources can be used by which users. Oracle Math also provides a local on-device database, meaning you can even work in an offline mode against local data. And in keeping with the security I just mentioned, this local data can be very easily encrypted. The last point to mention is something called push notification. This means external asynchronous messages can be pushed out to the mobile application to alert the user or the application to take some sort of action as the result of a particular event. So let's briefly recap on the mobile application framework building blocks and have a look at the architecture diagram. Firstly, MAF runs as a native application inside a device's native container. So as far as the device is concerned, this is running a native application. The native container provides something called a web view. Now you can think of this as a, as a headless or an invisible browser that can display HTML5 and JavaScript. In a MAF application, web view is the primary mechanism for rendering and delivering the application user interface, and you'll build your user interface using these pre-built AMX components that come out of the box. But you may also choose to implement some pages directly using local HTML5, and you can also access server-side web pages from a URL. You can also see that on-device JVM we have for running the local business logic. This Java virtual machine is implemented in native device code 
and it's implemented and compiled into each instance of the MAF application as part of the native application binary. And of course you can also access server-side services from Java as well. Now you'll find out more in a later episode, but you can also access a local SQL database from Java using JDBC. And you can also access device features such as GPS, email, through a library, a JavaScript library called Cordova. So in this episode you've had a taster for Oracle Math and you've seen that it's a hybrid application that is right once and deployed to many and it uses HTML5 to deliver a user interface with a native look and feel. And it also uses Java and JavaScript as a common language for business logic within your application. In the next few episodes we'll start to drill into the development and runtime experiences of Oracle Math. So I hope you've enjoyed this and keep watching.